Welcome back, everybody. I want to say well done, Martin, for beating me with his silver thimble. A beauty it was, too. So we're back out again for a couple of hours today. First target, very, very deep. Even 20. Speaking of Martin, here's one for you, buddy. It's a nice, uh... Oh, that's a lovely one. Lovely Liberty button. Oh, that's a beauty. I was wondering if that's... It is, you know. That's a proper silver one as well, that. Again, I've just given Martin one. The first ever one I found. And my very first signal today. Good camera, this is. I've got another one. That's an absolute cracker. So, I know you'll appreciate that one, Martin. Well, that's definitely silver. So, what a great start that is. All right, second target before I cleaned it. I thought it was just a piece of rubbish. So, best to always check. It's part of a Roman fibula. It would have been a very small one. But that's definitely a fibula brooch. No doubt about it. Oh, look at that. Happy days! A silver button and a little piece of a Roman brooch to start. Alright. Uh, next one is just a little debuckle. I'm not getting many targets to be honest with you. But I'm not digging a lot of rubbish so... I can't complain. I'd rather it be like that than digging cow tubes and bits of lead for ages. So, I'll crack on see what else we can get. There's the next find still in there. Big, big old penny. That's going to be a George III then. Penny. There's a backside. It's going to be a rub. Actually, it's got a bit of detail on it. Oh, this is reading now. This is reading 30, this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just working out there. It's not a cartwheel, it's just a big old penny. Nice. God above that stick. But, your first coin today, I'll take that. Signs there. I thought it was a silver at first, but no, it's going to be a just a button. A nice little design around the outside of it. Oh, shank still intact. Yeah, really did look like a silver that, but there we go. That'll do. There's my next find. It's an old uh, plaque or something called nameplate for something. I can't really read what it says, so I'll clean it up with a bit of picture on. I'll try and see where, if we can see what it says or not. But something a bit different. Right. Right, what it was in there is reading 25. It is a coin, but. I thought it was going to be silver actually, but it's not. Oh. Which is a bit unfortunate, to say the least. I was reading very high that. Let's give him a clean off and have a look. What it is. Oh. Oh, there's not much left on that. But, oh, it's a coin, I suppose. See now. Uh, oh, there we go. George the Third. By the looks of it. But what a shame. Reading that, I really thought that'd have been a silver. But there we go. This is a beautiful signal, 19, 
best signal I've had all day and I looked at that side and I thought oh, it's one of them bottle top things and I rubbed this side and he was staring back at me oh Queen Victoria well, that's a tiny tiny little thing it's going to be a threepence I think that oh actually I don't even know if it's a threepence dinky can't really see anything on that side but I'll just give it a little clean and put you on pause and we'll have a look. I've uh, cleaned it off, you can't see nothing on that side. I think it's a threepence. Nothing at all, eh? it's completely worn away. But that was good. Five, six inches down. I rung up sweet as a nut. So, chuffed a bit to that. Back on the silver. On a field they've absolutely hammered, so there we go. Now this was reading 15, this I've just pinpointed it there. I reckon this could be a Roman. It's thick enough to be. I'd say it is. Oh yeah, it's got to be, and it's got a bit of detail on that as well. Pop you on pause a minute. Uh, it's just rotting away in my hands when I'm trying to clean it, but it's definitely a piece of a Roman coin, without a doubt. Can't work out much on it. That side's corroded when I started cleaning it, but it's got to be, definitely. If I try and clean it anymore, it's just going to take everything off it. I'll take that, reading 15 that. And quite deep again, a good six inches, must have been. There we go, happy with that one. Reading 21 22, you can see how deep it is there. Pass the pinpoint up right in that far corner. Got an old uh, spindle wall or a, a weight. That will be an old one, that. So, yeah, what I've done is I've come on a field I've been on and I've uh, set the sensitivity a lot higher. I'm up to 24. I normally only have it on 21 and I'm picking up all these. Uh, deep target so just going nice and slow seems to be doing the job let's look at the depth on that Jesus that's half me arm for that that's a big one and that was reading out lovely that 22 23 I'll tell you what I can't wait till I've saved up enough money for this 15 inch coil because there's going to be some deep deep stuff on this field I've had some good finds on here on the past, you know, a lot of good targets. It's, this is going deep enough, but if I'm digging things out that deep, just imagine what I could get with a 15 inch coil. So hopefully by the summer we'll be out with that, but we're doing all right so far. George V. I think it's 1912, is it? But that was a deep old target as well. Bring it at 17. And there we go. Oh, this was seriously deep, this. Right the way down in that far corner. And don't look at the hole, I think that's just. I think it's a coin. Just happens to have a hole in it. By the shape of it and the thickness of it. Could possibly be a Roman that. I have had a few off this field, so I don't know. It's very thick. It's reading in the right sort of bracket for a Roman, but I don't know. There's not much left on it, but it's still a good find, though. I'll have a look at that. Just where I've just dug that last coin. That is stunning. 
And I thought this was a lead button at first, but it's not lead. I think it's bronze. It's got like a clip on the back. That looks like a, a mount or a clip. If anyone knows what that is. I don't know if it's some sort of brooch, possibly. But that is absolutely beautiful. I'm chuffed a bit with that. What a cracking find reading 18 and every other 18 I've dug off here today has been a shotgun shell. So, just goes to show. If anyone's got any ideas on that, give us a shout. Well, this is jumping all over the shop. This, it was only reading one way, but there's something not right about that. It looked like lead when it was in the hole. Well, I think that's a, a counterfeit hammer, don't you? It doesn't feel right. I might be wrong, but it just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. I might be wrong once I've cleaned it up. But I'll give it a clean up and we'll see how it comes out. But that was bloody deep as well. And this is why I want this big coil. You know, I was right in that far corner, a good eight inches. Still picked it up like. But you can just see there just. I don't know, maybe it's the the dirt. It's corroded it wrong, but it just doesn't look right. But we'll see. Right, on to the next.